Hi there, and welcome to another collab with Leslie Logan of Profitable Pilates. Today we have another episode of My Favorite Exercises, and today we're on the Cadillac. This video has been a long time coming. I actually have filmed it once before, um, but my Cadillac room is very close to the street, and the moment I started the video, um, all of the trash got picked up on the street, and so it was very, very loud and sort of cartoonish as I tried to talk about exercises on the Cadillac. So I thought I would spare you the giggles, and uh, let's talk about the exercises I've chosen today. The exercises I've chosen today are sort of new favorites, exercises that my body really needs and are starting to feel really good, even though they're not necessarily the exercises I feel the most proficient in. We're going to take a look at the side lying leg springs, which is a great help for your side kicks on the mat, always a tough one, and the thigh stretch done with the rolling bar, and then also the tower done with the push through bar. And um, if you have any questions about these exercises or if you want to tell me your favorite Cadillac exercises, there are so many. I mean, there's everything from the basic exercises we do on the Cadillac to all the gymnastic -y flips upside down. So there's so many to choose from. Please let me know a few of your favorites in the comments below and then I'm going to get started. I'm going to start with the side lying leg springs and I'm going to do front, back, up, down and some circles and maybe even the bicycle. That's kind of a lot of them, but I may do three or four variations. Um, I'm actually, to help myself find my center, I like to use the lighter spring on my Cadillac. My Cadillac is made by Gratz, and I'm gonna choose the spring that's kind of referred to as the arm spring to do the side lying leg springs. And generally, the spring really doesn't matter which one you use. Um, it just depends on which uh, one is best for you right now. And I find that I can find more connection to my center and less fighting the spring with my legs if I use this little bit lighter spring. And you know with Pilates in general, um, when you change any little variable, um, sometimes it makes it a little bit harder and a little bit easier at the same time. So I don't have to fight the spring, but because the spring tension is less, it's going to be a lot more um, to control. So that's the trade-off. And I'm just going to set up all those springs. And I'm just swapping out the leg strap for the handle. And then I'm just going to hang these guys back over here. Okay, I'm going to start with my right leg as the working leg, and I'm going to use this strap to place my bottom leg under. So I'm going to place my back alongside the edge of the mat just to give myself a sense of what a straight line is. Um, try not to be right on the edge, because you know you don't want to fall off the Cadillac, but you'll try to be right a little bit in from the edge. And I'm gonna put my elbow where the mat meets the pole. Let's see, I guess I gotta put this under first. This strap isn't very tight, but I'm gonna try to make it as supportive as I can. And then I'm gonna make sure that my back is kind of in a straight line, so I'm at an angle. And then the strap, the spring I'm going to use is the one that's coming from behind me or coming from the same side that I'm lying on. I'm going to rest my head. Okay, first I'm just going to feel like I can stand in the springs and that's kind of a hard thing for me to do already. If you're someone who is one, one side stronger, this is an exercise that kind of is good but it will present some problems maybe. Ooh. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go front and then back. And at first, just go behind you, but not so far back. You want to look for your leg to be right underneath your body so that you can kind of reach into it and suck in the stomach to give your center and your back a little more length and maybe even your thigh a little stretch as you do the exercise. So we're going to do five. Two more. And the hard part for a lot of us in this exercise is to make the bottom leg do something. <laughs> and so that's what I'm sort of trying to coax out of my body. So now I'm going to control the spring as it goes closing and then pull the center in as I push on the spring. And then control it up.
two more. So now I'm going to make a circle. I'm going to go to the front, up to the side, behind, and together. Mm. Two more times. I kind of feel like my other side is sort of starting to work. So only the last exercise. Mm. And then I'll go the other way. And then I'm going to control it up to the side. I'm going to take the spring off my foot. And then I'm going to lower my leg back down. So I think just those three variations. That seemed plenty challenging. <laughs> and then I'm going to go to the other side. So the right leg under the strap. My back along the edge of the mat. And generally, I kind of want to wait till those three exercises feel a little bit more proficient before I add the bicycle. So here we go. Five front back. Two more. I'm just noticing I have a death grip on this pole. <laughs> and now the up down. And then use the spring to lift in the center. That's why you get to push the spring. Two more times, I think. And now I'm going to do a circle. Ooh. This spring feels so heavy on this harder side. My circles might look like triangles, I don't know. One more. Yes, I suspected that that side would be so tired by the end of the circles. <laughs> okay. Whew. That one's always really, really nice when it's over. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to look at the thigh stretch done with the rollback bar. I'm just going to push this away. Yeah, my body feels really good. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to set up my measurement to be about an arm and a half away from those poles. And then I've really started to love this one because I can feel like both ends of my body are reaching away from the center and it really feels like a, a new opening and decompressive version of this kind of back extension exercise, which is nice. So I'm going to reach the back of me all the way to the heels down into the mat and I'm going to try to keep that and then lift my waistline through my arms so that my lift of my stomach is trying to deposit my head on the mat behind me. I'm going to do two more. Yeah, it's easy to try to do this the old way. So the lower body going down and the lift of the upper body 
opposing the reach of the lower body. And then I feel like there's really a nice true thigh stretch, which I desperately need. <laughs> okay. So now for my last hard one favorite, the tower. I'm going to add my safety chain and get my push through spring. Oh, this is an exercise that I've done for uh, forever, but not very well. Uh, if you're someone who likes to sink into your back, this is a hard one to get lift in because the spring is quite heavy and you are upside down. So to get that decompressive lift when the weight of your body plus the weight of the spring is compressing you, it's a super excellent exercise, but it's not easy to do. So let's see how I do. And I quite enjoy the stretch before it, so I'm going uh, I'm gonna spend a little time in that. I'm going to line up my neck under the bar. My hands are going to be in the center to push the bar up, and then I'm going to put my feet on either side. And I'm going to straighten my legs. So in this exercise, I like to imagine that I'm sitting up on the reformer doing the stomach massage, so that every time I reach my heels, it's really a stretch of the whole back of me, not an ankle action. Because in the same way in the stomach massage that you want to cultivate opening the back instead of being in your hips, you really want that here too. And then I'll do that three times and then I'm going to pretend to push the bar away and bend my knees and keep my tailbone on the mat. <laughs> That's kind of but all I got. That's why I'm going to spend a little time doing this part first. I usually do this part about three, three sets of three. And then each time I bend in, I can see if there's gotten, if there's a little bit more opening and stretch. Yeah, this is a great vantage point to see that your feet, you know, if they want to do funny things, you can, you can really be appalled by what they might do in this exercise. <laughs> yeah, so I got a little more opening that time. Actually, quite a bit more. And the tower is kind of no joke as far as a back opening exercise. So you want to make sure that you're, if you know that the, the back is a bit stiff, you want to build in as much stretch as you can. I would say even if you need to, you could even do the monkey first. Usually it's done traditionally after um, the tower, but it's a much more straightforward exercise Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> okay, so now I've gotten a lot more openness in my back, and now I'm gonna try to keep all the stuff working and do the big part of the exercise. Oh yeah, that felt like I gotten into a good spot to get what I needed in the exercise. Oh, that even felt nice. Oh. discover why there are only three <laughs> because if you do them well three is really a lot <laughs> and I should say if you don't do them well oh my god three is endless Alrighty. And you know, while I'm at it, I might as well pick myself up 
and go back and do the monkey. Because the monkey is a really, you know, stomach massage on steroids. For those of you that like to sit at the edge of the carriage and stomach massage, <laughs> here we are, right? Imagine if you're sitting up doing the stomach massage, lowering, lifting your heels under the bar. <laughs> and I'm gonna do it one more time. So a little bonus favorite, the monkey. I'm gonna take my feet off the bar, unhook my spring, and sit up like a civilized person. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know some of your Cadillac favorites. If you'd like to see more videos like this, do click the subscribe button. Use the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And thank you so much for watching. I couldn't do it without you. Bye. Let's do three more and we'll see how far I get. Woo. Ah, oh, so give that one a try. Um, if you have ever done gymnastics and you've done the high, the uneven parallel bars, the casting of your body off of the bar at the hip